How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Andrew Goldman. I'm glad to have you back. This is episode five of cutting. So use the time codes below if you guys want to jump around. But the order of this video is first, I want to just get into like some of the mental aspects of cutting. Then I'm going to get into the numbers like I always do. And then lastly, I'm going to talk about a peak week. First, I'm going to start to talk about the mental aspect of dieting, fitness in general, almost this like obsession over your body, constantly comparing yourself to people, constantly trying to get better and not having balance. You can easily with fitness catch like the fitness bug and then all of a sudden start like chasing this physique that you're probably never gonna have and you just keep trying to chase it and you kind of like neglect other aspects of your life like you get used to being hungry you get used to kind of thinking about calories all the time you get used to saying no to social events there's two points in the year where you're just like eating your protein like trying to feel good you're not like always going for a calorie goal always tracking your calories like always figuring out everything all the time why i'm bringing this all up is i finally said okay guys i'm gonna go eight weeks and i'm gonna go hard and i'm just gonna get it done get to like that physique that i want and then i could like check it off my list like there's no regrets like in the back of my head that was the problem and i think that's the problem for a lot of people it's kind of like really bad to be obsessed with fitness but what's even worse is to just have it like in the back of your head for like years and years and be like yeah, like, you know, like, I'm not happy with this. I'm not happy with like my journey or whatever. You got to go one of two ways. You either have to go for like that eight to 10 week cut, see how you look, just get that bug out of your head. That's what I'm hoping's happened. And I'm realistic. I'm not going to stay this shredded. Like, I don't want to be at like 10% body fat forever. But what I'm saying is very dangerous is being in between those two lanes where you're like, I want to look pretty good. And I want to try like a lot all the time. Bottom line is if you find yourself in that one foot in, one foot out where you're kind of like scared to go out and have fun because you're like you know you might gain a half a pound and you're constantly obsessing over this stuff you just might want to think about is it really worth it to obsess over it or should i just once in a while get like shredded for eight weeks and do like a program like i'm gonna step on stage because then you know you know you did what you had to do you check that box and you know it's temporary so just keep that in mind that's like what i've been thinking of during the cut i think the last video that we ended at we were on day 29 which was right here and now we're at day 41 and just like a really quick summary is you can see like the weight kind of went up a little and then it went down a good amount but like round trip there hasn't been a ton of progress at this point like later in the cut and that's kind of what happens almost like i had a couple of these really bad days now this day was a cheat day on purpose 37 this 3300 wasn't planned and i had a couple 24s now, so really here's what we're looking at we're looking at six weeks in if you take a step back you know we started at that 181.6 and then we kind of shot right down to 179 so that was probably like my actual starting weight and then like i've said in the past it's always like a wave look it kind of goes down a little bit slow and then it drops down and then a lot of times when it drops down it kind of like gradually goes up a tiny bit and then it drops back down and then it drops back down, drops back down. And, and it's just like how a diet's gonna go. And the more lean you get, the harder it's gonna get. And just like some other quick data that I wanted to show you guys is I have my average calories for each week, one through six so far, and the average weight. And you can see the most weight was lost in between week one and week two. And the calories were kind of like higher, obviously, because I was just starting the diet, but there was also the most weight to lose. And then we lost more weight going into week three and then it kind of starts to slow down but that's what's to be expected okay now the last thing i want to talk about is how to calculate your maintenance calories and how maintenance calories changes depending on what weight you're at and then it's always a changing aspect so basically in this column here i'm looking at my maintenance calories the full length of the cut so why this is important is because it's basically the maintenance calories at the starting weight at the start of the cut so we started at 179.8 we got to 167.4, which is a 12 pound change. That in calories is 3,500 times 12.4 is 43,400. We were in a 43,400 calorie deficit over 39 days, which means we were in a 1,100 calorie daily deficit. So the only other thing you have to do is say, okay, well, how much have I been eating over that period of time? I've been eating 2,510 calories, which means since I've been eating 2,510 calories on average, and I've been averaging a deficit of about a thousand. You add those two numbers together and it would have been about 3,600 to maintain 179.8. Now on the other side, I said, okay, let me look at just the last three weeks and I'll just go to the bottom line. To maintain this 171.8, you'd expect it to be lower. So I'm at about 3,176 if I were to maintain 171.8. Maintenance always changes, but what I think kind of makes sense, guys, is you wanna pick a number to start with 
and to see if you can be very consistent and patient. So you're giving yourself eight weeks. So I started with 2,600. Just try to hit that number like every day and not like spike around like crazy. And the weight should kind of like wave down. And then, you know, you make adjustments as you go through when weight stalls, but be patient. So in summary with all that calorie stuff, basically is that I'm at like the 21 to 2200 calories a day is my goal and like my aim, because as you lose more weight, your maintenance calories kind of goes down. So I'm gonna to try to finish strong for the next two weeks. But the last thing I wanted to bring up is peak week and what peak week is and why I'm doing a peak week. There's gonna be a peak week video and I talked to Kevin Clark and he basically said to keep it really simple, it's just for like experimenting purposes to try to like give your body that 5% boost. So I'm gonna keep it super high level and I'll get into more detail, but I'm gonna bump up the water, decrease the carbs, and then right before like my peak day, I'm basically gonna decrease the water and increase the carbs, kind of like carb up. So basically I already said I'm at my best I've ever been right now. So I'm just gonna like diet more i'm gonna do like you know another normal last week of like my 2100 calorie diet and then i'm gonna do a peak week for week eight and then that's it we're gonna see what happens i'm not expecting like a world of changes thank you guys so much for watching go check out the other weeks if you want to see that